I'm fixing up a cabin in Canada's Northwest Territories, and I'm learning as I go. In this episode, clamp, clamp. The biggest light bulb moment yet. It's a beautiful day, so I figured I would start the day with getting some kindling, some splits, and uh, just breathing in the fresh, cool air in the sun before I get really going. I just decided I wanted to spend some time outdoors first. This here is a mixture of really long sawdust shavings and um, French fry grease, old French fry grease. And I'm gonna use this to start my fire. I got these saucers of wood from a really thick tree that I cut down. I'm just like slicing them off. Uh, and they're gonna be perfect uh, to lay down first in the wood stove as a bed. Sacrificial wood that I can just use to, uh, to start the fire. Uh, I always like to lay something down first in the wood stove before I put my, my fire starter, my kindling, my splits, whatever, on top. Some of these guys are a little too big, so I'll have to trim them up. I've got some here that are half size. Yes. This tree has a little bit of moisture left in it. I want to really dry it out by the wood stove. Okay, I'm going to make a space for all the stuff that still has a bit of moisture left in it.
this birch tree right here is dead. And that's great firewood. Now, the last time I was out here and used this uh, miter saw, it was putting a real strain on my generator. I've got a power station here that can provide a 20 amp output. And this DeWalt is 15. There we go. Okay. Six hundred. This thing asks for a thousand watts. Like I'm just watching the power station there, and uh, it would take three hours of running this to kill that power station. That's a three thousand watt power station. So. I, it takes more power than I thought it would, really. It's just a spinning blade. I, I figured it wouldn't take that much, but it certainly does. This clamp here, I thought it was to clamp the actual miter saw down to the table. And someone said, you're supposed to use this to keep the wood secure, right? So then I would just do this. And now my wood is nice and secure in there. This is going to be my first angled cut with the, uh, with the miter saw. And hopefully it turns out and uh, my I, I want the top of the railing to have like a nice angled look to it and the bottom so yeah that's the uh, that's the plan As you guys can see, essentially I'm trying to mimic the uh, the spindling here with a few 2x4s. And I think I'll do four 2x4s and the rest will be spindling. And it should make for a pretty solid um, banister. Complicated. Complicated to do this.
just came to me. Clamps. Why am I not using my clamps? I have clamps. And it would be making my life so much easier. Everything would be that much more accurate. So like it just hit me and I was like, wow, why don't I just use the clamps to hold the wood instead of me trying to hold it and screw? It doesn't make any sense. So I'm like really feeling great right now. I feel like things are going to really speed up for me. I know that's probably common sense for a lot of people, but uh, yeah, that's that's the reality. Like I, j it just, I just clued in to that. I could just be using my clamps to really help myself um, get these pieces of wood tighter too, right? Tighter together. Um, so yeah, I feel great about that right now. Yeah, the clamp game has really changed everything for me. It's just changed everything. This bed is not even. Oh, loving clamps. <laughs> it's just unbelievable how much better it is. Let's see. And now I know that the wood is really, really tight. which is what I wanted more than anything. These are pieces of spindling left over from the construction of my deck uh, at my home. And um, I just have like maybe a dozen or so of these left, maybe a, maybe a couple dozen. And I figured I could really make good use of them here in the cabin. And I got a little trick. You see, I got all kinds of ice built up on these right now just quickly melts it off and now I know I'll be able to put it on evenly and the ice won't be in the way yes What do you guys think? Man, I think it looks amazing and clamps are amazing. I know I'm saying it over and over again, but I'd probably still be on that first section over there. Look at it, I'm done in no time. It took me like, for this side here, it took me like five, six minutes. I'm so happy. And why didn't you guys like recommend clamps? <laughs> you guys have all kinds of suggestions. I don't remember seeing clamps. Maybe, maybe someone did comment clamps, but holy clamps. Clamps. So as you guys can see right here, I've got this like top part of the guardrail that goes down the stairs and it's off, right? It's like it goes up high, it doesn't, it doesn't cut across here really nicely. Now I think I'm just gonna use a handsaw. I'm just gonna go straight across like this and just like whoosh, cut it across so that way it'll be It'll be flush with this. So let's see if I do this and then I do this.
No. Nope. Right there. That would be a dead line right across and I'd be able to cut off this top part. Okay, so now if I can just like cut right across here, then this should all look nice and flush on top. Okay. Okay, not too bad. I can see problems there. Oh no, okay. Now, okay, that's not too bad. This is working out okay. I bet you that camera's shaking like a madman. Okay, that worked out just fine. Pull it in nice and tight with that clamp. Yes. About five years ago, there was an auction in my city and they were just selling off a bunch of materials and supplies that the, it was actually put on by the city, the auction. It was, uh, it was their initiative and uh, they had like a bunch of lumber and tools and whatever else. And uh, they had a bunch of these two by sixes. Almost all of them are six feet long. And uh, they're still in really, really good shape. I paid $125 for 125 uh, six foot two by six pieces of lumber. This stuff would be great for building a shed and, and you know, and, and doing the outhouse. If you guys have any suggestions what you would do with some of this wood, like a little project for around the cabin, I'd love to hear what you would do uh, in the comments. Uh, I have a lot of organizing to do and I have to bring a big load of, of lumber here. And I thought about bringing everything I would need for an extension, um, all of the lumber before the ice road melts. But this morning I had a change of heart and I decided that I would um, just bring out enough lumber to build the floor. And I'll build the floor late summer into the fall. And um, once the ice road freezes over next uh, winter, I'll build the extension in like the minus 30 temperatures. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll be back really soon.